Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me. My name is Rob Clayton. To start the webinar this morning, the Australian dollar went to the top side overnight and found very, very much difficulty to climb above that 75-20 resistance. In light of the current pattern, technically we should not discount one more test towards the top side, but trading at 74.80 at the moment, I still expect to see on the day 75.20 cap and to see the market eventually turn back to the downside and look towards that 74.20-25 support and then eventually lower towards 73.55 and then 72.80-85. The um, recent support of 72.40 has risen now to that level you can see here around 80. The euro very much like the dollar index. The dollar index stabbed down towards that 100.50 level. The euro stabs up towards that 106.80 level last night. And as you can see here, the uh, the rejection now puts the euro back on track to look towards a 105.65 support and lower down towards 104.55.70. Now it is viewed beneath there, as you can see this level here from this stab, is that the fact that we're looking down towards 103.40 and then beneath there 102.40.70. Fresh attempts towards the upside should still be contained by that resistance of 106.80, uh, but if breached, it would see the rise up towards that stab there around that 108, but that's unlikely at this stage until the dollar index breaks beneath that 100.50 mark, then Euro should maintain in a bear phase. With the um, disappointment yesterday from the President-elect Donald Trump first news conference, the dollar balls were very disappointed um, as the dollar index, as you may have seen, uh, which tracks the currencies against the US of six major counterparts, saw the dollar index fall and also saw the euro, uh, euro the dollar yen fall. Sorry. In light of the current pattern, you can see here that demand has come in for the last two days as this sell-off has come through. In light of the current pattern, I expect to see any demand returning from uh, 114.10 to 113.65.70, with the firm support holding beneath at 112.60.80. Now, as long as we maintain above that level of 6080 on 112, I'm looking up towards 116 to 118 as a potential target, and then on towards a broader target of 120. If we do see a break beneath 112, 6080, then this would give further uh, reasons for a sell off to 110 and a half, but this looks unlikely at the moment. As you can see, the oscillators are getting quite low, so I am expecting a bullish recovery soon. Interesting seeing the last six days of price action since the retreat of 124.50 is the fact that we got to the objective of 120.60 and then re-challenges the highs around 123 to foul. In light of the current pattern, I expect to see a weaker sterling and I see a target immediate of 121.40 and then lower down towards 120.90 with the objective holding at 120.25. A break beneath there will give further scope down towards 118 where the flash crash um, claimed the lows. Resistance on the day now holds around 122.30.35 and firmer at 122.90 to 123.60. It would seem that gold potentially has hit a top. I had a, a, a resistance around 12.04. It got to 12.07 and dropped very sharply. As you can see here, the four hour time frame is negative and we could see further weakness in the coming hours of today with immediate target holding at 11.88 and then eventually lower towards 11.80 to 11.76 and reassess from the 76 level. That was the recent low around here. On the top side, resistance comes in minor at 99 and firmer above at 12.04 to 12.09. And to wrap up with oil, very disappointing to see that from the key reversal, the only weakness lasted for two days and now reclaims nearly the whole of that two-day sell-off. 
In light of the break of 53.80 overnight, it does give some concerns that we could see a further rally towards 55 to 56 dollars a barrel. I'm not overly confident to the bull run because it has been very choppy, but um, you can see here that the market is finding a little bit of momentum now. So see in the next 24 hours, a close above 54 will give further scope up towards 56. So that wraps up my daily video. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look up the intraday report that will be released very shortly. And I hope you have a great day and a great weekend ahead.